In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at getting a guitar sound to play the song So Lonely by The Police. I'm Paul Douglas. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel then please click that subscribe button just down there below the video player. Go on, you know you want to. I play guitar and keyboards in a covers band and one of the songs we decided to have a go at is the classic song So Lonely by The Police. Um, this was uh, the bass player's suggestion and I'm very happy with it because I love The Police. They're a fantastic band. Um, Andy Summers is an amazing guitarist uh, and So Lonely is one of my favourite songs of theirs so uh, yeah very happy to learn this song so I've been uh, getting my gear together my guitar amp and pedal board down here to get a sound uh, suitable for playing uh, the guitar part to So Lonely and I thought I'd just take you uh, through the process of me getting that sound now the first thing I should say is what I'm not trying to do here is get a sound exactly the same as Andy Summers got on the record because that would be futile. Um, you know, if you think about the, the amount of equipment and processing that that recorded studio sound has gone through, you know, all the outboard gear, go through, going through the desk, uh, God knows what compression and, you know, what's happened in the mix and the mastering stage. So it's, it's utterly pointless to try and get that. What I'm trying to do uh, is not get a sound uh, as close to that as possible. I'm trying to get a sound that is just going to work in the band context, you know, drums, uh, bass, two guitars and vocals. Um, it's probably going to sound similar to the uh, recorded guitar sound, but not exact. Um, so if I take you through just the basics of my equipment here, got my uh, trusty old uh, Fender Mexican Strat here. I've had this guitar for 15 years it has played god knows how many gigs uh with me it's my uh, good trusty old workhorse never let me down um so i'll just give you the the base uh the, the basic sound that i'm using without any effects or anything applied i'm using the clean sound on my amp i'll show you the settings on the amp in a minute <laughs> So there we go, there's the, the, the basic clean sound that I'm using. Just back off a bit and let you see the amp. So this is my trusty old uh, PV Classic 30. Had this for not quite as long as my Strat, but probably about 10 years. And again, this has been a great workhorse. Been loads and loads of gigs uh, with me. Um, using the clean sound on this amp, the clean sound on this amp is lovely. It's really nice. Um, and here we go. So we've got, uh, I've got the volume very low because I'm only at bedroom volumes here. So the only difference between these settings and when I get into the rehearsal room is I'll be a bit louder in the rehearsal room. Um, the pre and post here are irrelevant because we're on the clean channel. Um, reverb is coming from the amp. I've got it set on uh, just below four there. Um, and then bass, middle and treble here, you can see I've got uh, bass just below five, middle just after seven, and uh, treble on about eight. I should point out that those dials on the amp go up to 12, not 10. So we got a bass clean sound, if I just play a, a sort of bit of the, the song. <laughs> It's a nice sound, but um, if you listen to the record, uh, there's some sort of uh, chorus modulation effect on there. And I'm going to do the same. So if I show you my pedal board, for this, uh, for the main rhythm part, probably all I'm going to do is use this chorus pedal here. So I just get a bit closer onto the chorus pedal. Now I've set the uh, the depth, yeah, probably two o'clock. Um, maybe three o'clock uh, speed, probably somewhere between one and two o'clock and the effects level um, about the same on this uh, TC Electronic Corona Mini Chorus pedal. 
Um, I know the delay pedal's in shot there, but I'm not planning on using it uh, for these sounds. Let's engage that pedal uh, and let's see what we've got. So here's without the pedal. Switch it on. Lovely, now, and that really fills out the sound. Now, those settings that I've chosen there, um, those are the settings I usually have that pedal on just generally, and I think that sounds great, so I'm not gonna change them at all. When I get into the rehearsal room this week, um, I'll see how it sounds there. I may have to tweak it a bit, see how it uh, blends with the other guitarist sound, um, but as a starting point, I think that sounds great. <laughs> Beautiful. So the one other thing I have to do here is play the guitar solo. Now the guitar solo uh, is a more of a, an overdriven sound, but still with that um, chorus modulation effect uh, to, to fill it out a bit. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hopefully be able to just keep the chorus pedal on exactly the same settings. And we jump down here to this, uh, you see that golden brownie pedal there, my overdrive pedal. Um, I'm just going to stomp on that. And I'm hoping that that's going to give me uh, a decent lead tone. And all I'm going to have to do to switch between rhythm and lead is very simply just stomp on that pedal. Here we go. That's without the pedal and here with it. Excellent. Now, I think that's going to work really nicely. Let's play a little bit of the solo. I think that's going to work great. Maybe it's a little uh, trebly, a little uh, top end heavy in this room, but I'm willing to bet that when I get that into the rehearsal room in the, with the full band, the bass and the drums, uh, that's going to cut through nicely um, and it's going to blend with the other instruments very well. Thanks very much for watching. If you haven't yet subscribed, then please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified of new videos. Keep making music and I'll see you again in the next video. Cheers.